Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back. Today we'll be working on writing in Arabic calligraphy using gold leaf. First off, let's get our materials. Gold side adhesive, a flat angled brush, a thin paintbrush and then a canvas. Now let's get started. Begin by roughly measuring out where you want to place your calligraphy on the canvas. For today, I'm opting for a fairly large size, approximately 5cm from each edge. However, feel free to adjust this based on your personal preference. Next, using a pencil, carefully sketch out the word Alhamdulillah onto the canvas. Take your time to make sure it's accurate and don't hesitate to erase any mistakes you make along the way. Now we're ready to apply the gold size adhesive onto the outlined calligraphy. The adhesive will remain tacky making it perfect for adhering to the gold leaf so make sure to use gold size. Glue will look white at first, wait at least around 10 minutes or more for it to dry before moving on to the next step. You'll know it's dry once it turns clear and tacky, not sticky to touch. Carefully lay the gold leaf onto the adhesive. Use a wide paintbrush or your fingers to flatten it down and ensure it's securely stuck onto the canvas. Once the gold leaf is stuck on, you can start straight away on the next step. Using a paintbrush, gently brush away any excess gold leaf ensuring to get into all the little corners. Ideally, use an old brush with bristles that aren't too soft. This will take longer or too hard as this may damage the gold leaf. Having a designated gold leaf brush will save you the hassle of always having to clean out the gold leaf from your regular brushes. Wipe off the excess when you're done and repurpose the excess for other projects. As a final step, you can apply varnish to seal the painting and protect both the background and the calligraphy. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Until next time, assalamu alaikum and happy crafting.